So we did something a little different this time and took the readers to New Hampshire and Vermont, where I had a series set, the Butler Vermont series and Green Mountain series. And we had a great time checking out the fall foliage. This is the first time Reader Weekend hasn't kicked off with humor from my son. So um, I'm sure he'd have something to say about me that is not nice, but... <laughs> Thanks for being here at our Leaf Peeping Weekend. Um, my daughter hates the name of that. She wants us to do something about that before we do this again. <laughs> Dan has donated two of his paintings, as usual. This one comes from a photo that I took this summer that he did not ask for permission to replicate. So um, there are some legalities with that one. Um, thank you, as always, to my team um, behind the scenes, especially Julie Cup. Where is she? She's in the, nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> Baby, get out of the corner. <laughs> um, she's the one who makes this happen. Her bestie, Nikki Haley, is with us again. Yay! Thank you to Lisa Cafferty back there, who's our CFO. <laughs> and her husband, Tristan, is with us. And um, this is when we make him our biatch for the weekend. <laughs> Cousin Jean, who does all of our shipping. So if you um, receive a package from the store, you are receiving it from Jean. And her sidekick, her mom, and my aunt, and my godmother, Betty. Um, also, thank you to Kara Conrad, who's here, uh, one of my longtime beta readers, who's with her mother, Linda, who's back for another round with us. <laughs> and Rachel Spencer, who does a lot of my social media on TikTok. And um, Erica Guttermuth, Guttermuth <laughs> is also on our team this, this weekend. So thank you all for helping out behind the scenes. Um, this time, I know you guys like these stats. We have 27 states represented from here in New Hampshire to Wisconsin, Florida, Maryland, Washington, Texas, and so many more. We have 16 first-time attendees. And if the first-time attendees could please stand so we can all see who you are so that we can make sure you leave here with lots of friends. We also have um, people who've been here twice, who's, raise your hand if you're two times, three times, three years, four years, five years, all nine years. Where's Jen Peters? <laughs> Jen Peters, Dan Forrest, and the Sardinas. <laughs> Thank you to Pam and Dave for being here. They're our photography team. Um, <laughs> But uh, thank you for being here, and um, we have a great weekend lined up, including tomorrow's trip to the Vermont to visit the Vermont Country Store in Weston and shopping in Manchester. We also did something new this time. We had karaoke on Friday night, which was really well received. Everybody had a great time, lots of laughs, and um, I even did a few songs, which will not be on the video if David knows what's good for him. Tequila! Children! So she wants to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer. When you call my name, it's like a little bird. I'm down on my knees. I want to thank you. This painting is tied up in litigation. I was not given permission to um, reproduce my but photo. Look. Inspired by Marie Force photo. You think that's enough? That's enough. Do you have any idea who I am? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so the winner of this painting, um, the last four, is 2574. <laughs> Um, let's do the raffle for the other painting, which is this one right here, the Vermont one, um, 552733. Oh, we've got a winner in the back. If I only knew then. Hot Mess Express. <laughs> seven, seven shades of orange. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. <laughs> Starting over. Okay. The wheels fell off. Wheel. Love at the beach. <gasps> Living my best life. The bad the news, news bears. bears. Wanderlust. It's going to be Mimi's life. Too old for romance. Things I wish I had. Secrets kept. Fortunate. Experience with guide dog. You helped me survive and COVID. Car. My first thought's natural disaster. Aw, oh, shit. My I have the biggest loser. Hot mess. Sure. Why not? We can do our own scissors. Part two. Yeah, they're... Uh, limping for love with our two Navy placements. <laughs> Crazy dog lady. The next chapter. The last chapter? <laughs> yeah, uh, there you go. Cat mom. Which works too much. Works for love. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? The woman. Who works to help people get elected? The woman that doesn't know if she's still in love with her husband. They mm -hmm. Open at your own risk. I'm gonna quote Jimmy Buffett and say, "Shells sink, dreams float, life's good on our boat." Not what you expected. Total chaos. Flying high. Regrets. <laughs> Disastrous. Wild widow because I am. The title of the book is "You Never Know." <laughs> So I came up with my <laughs> name of my book, Marie can write about me, and went to tell Kara what it was. And the first thing I said was, it's probably too long, meaning the title is probably too long, and she thought that was the title of the book. <laughs> but the title I was going to say was, my nice button is out of order, but my bite me button is working just fine. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> On Saturday, we took the bus from Concord, New Hampshire over into Vermont uh, through the rolling mountains. It was just absolutely a beautiful drive. Lots of great fall color and stuff to see along the way. And it was awesome for the readers who haven't been to the Vermont Country Store before to get a chance to see the store that inspired my Green Mountain and Butler Vermont series about the family that runs the old time country store in the heart of Vermont. And uh, I think a lot of people who hadn't been there before really enjoyed seeing the store decorated for fall. And we took tons of pictures inside and out and just had an overall great time there, had lunch there, and then we headed off to Manchester to do some shopping and to visit a bookstore there that I've signed up before and um, just to check out this amazing little town that I call the Vermont uh, Beverly Hills, <laughs> smack in the middle of the state in Manchester. Finally, we came back to the hotel and then um, had dinner. And we did the usual Q&A where the readers get to ask me anything that's on their mind, which is always entertaining. I have to start with a little story about my sister-in-law. Yeah, you. Uh, uh, payback's a bitch, is that what you just said? Okay. So, she gets all the books before they're anybody else, right? You guys know that. Yeah. Right. Okay, I want you all to know that she's had State of Bliss for two weeks and just told me today she's getting ready to start it. Burn 
burn the witch. <laughs> Uh, so I told her, I said, I'm going to announce this and they're going to come for you. <laughs> Dan says, um, I'll protect you. Um, blood is thicker than ink. <laughs> so, all right. Will there be another series like the Quantum series in the future? Not specifically like that, but I do hope to add to Quantum. So I mentioned that in this week's newsletter. If you didn't get the newsletter, make sure you're on the list. Um, Let's see, do you ever use celebrity muses to inspire your characters? I do have um, some celebrity muses, like, like I was thinking of George Clooney when I created Flynn as the commitment phobe actor who didn't want to get married. And then while I was writing Virtuous, George Clooney got engaged. So we were in a little bit of an argument for, we were in a big fight. Because I was like, really? Like all this time, because I pitched it as a, George Clooney-esque actor, and then he gets engaged. <laughs> do you still love writing as much as you always did? Yes, I do. 100%, yes. Uh, it's, I don't like some of the other stuff that goes along with it, like the constantly having to promote and ads and you know all that stuff. I don't love that as much as I love the writing, but I do still love it. Um, which book is your favorite, and also which series is your favorite? This is always a hard one. So Treading Water is probably my favorite because it was first. Um, and then the series that it would be tied for Gansett and Fatal and First Family, like because I've spent so much time with those characters because um, I'm 16 years into both of those series. They both started in 2007-ish. <laughs> so yeah, to 16, actually they're 2006, so probably 17 years of writing those characters. And so people say to me, like, well, which characters are the favorite? Well, Sam and Nick, because I've spent the most time with them. Like, they're as real to me as the people at this table right here, like those people. Yeah. Will you ever finish the Butler Vermont series, The Coleman Side? I feel like I kind of did. Um, so no, there's no, I'm not doing any more, um, like, full-on books in that series. I may do a, like, a follow-up years later or something like that, but no more. Of, of the, um, you know, the couple books, like the, those are done. I know that people wanted more of that and I get why, but I just like, I wanted to, I want to be able to do other stuff. And if, if I don't finish some of these series and, and put them aside, then they're taking up space here that could be opened up for other stuff. So that's kind of why I wanted, I ended Miami for the same reason. Like I felt like I, I did what I wanted to do with Miami and you know, now we'll um, make it some space for other stuff. Um, will we see Sam's sister in the Widows series soon? You will see her joining the Wild Widows, um, but um, not quite yet. Um, will you be, would you be willing to share a teaser about the new standalone book you just started that's now half done? Mm, let's see. All right, um, two teenage girls witness something terrible and they do the absolute wrong thing the wrong thing on every every which way they 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 do the wrong thing and it haunts one of them for years and when she decides to fix this terrible wrong her whole life goes sideways so it's kind of a little bit of a thriller kind of a yeah it spans a lot of years of it's a little bit yeah, there is romance in it, but the romance is not the focus. Um, yeah, so I'm really, I'm into that, and then I'm, I'm also thinking about another single, too. Um, I've started writing um, the book that's going to be called Down East, which is going to feature um, Dan and Kara, not the Dan and Kara that are here. <laughs> not that Dan and Kara. Um, Dan and Kara from Ganson Island. I don't know if that's going to be a series or a one one book. I'm not sure, but I have started that. So, um, do you ever wake up with book ideas in the middle of the night or while in the shower? Do you have a notebook or a recorder? I don't write anything down. I don't record anything. Um, I sleep like a dead woman. <laughs> I the ideas come. I don't even know where they come from. I they show up, and most of the time they're fully formed, which is really helpful. Um, I don't even know where they come from. I'm just thankful they keep coming. So, will Marilyn be a slut in one of your books? <laughs> That's Mar my friend Marilyn. 
she uh, that's her goal in life and I just said to Rachel at dinner how do I refer to her as such in a book without turning off every other woman that reads my books she's probably watching she's probably watching Marilyn <laughs> Um, how do you not go off on all the readers on Facebook that give you not so subtle suggestions on how you should write your own books? <laughs> she goes off, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I try to behave myself in public. That's all I can say. Rereading the Butler of Vermont books made me wonder, did you have the song book title first and then work it into the book? Um, I don't think I always had the song first. Sometimes the book title came later and then I would go back and work it into the book. I, they, they're not actually all in the books, like they're, they're, every one of those song titles is not necessarily in the book, um, but some of them are. Um, I assume you work on several books at once, how do you keep them straight? Um, I do have, um, I have four different ones open right now on my laptop, <laughs> uh, with, like I put notes in them when I think of something. Um, so I'm not actively working on four, but I have uh, three started. So three at various stages. It keeps things moving for me to do it that way. So um, I know it sounds mental, but somehow I keep it straight. Okay. Um, will the AUSAs, the assistant U.S. attorneys, from the Fatal First Family series get their own story spinoff series? Um, thank you, Lauren Conrad. Lauren, thank you. Um, so you're going to see more of the Miller triplets in um, State of Suspense. That's all I can say right now. Um, and I appreciate everyone who came to this and who come to, came to Miami and will be in next June, uh, July in uh, Rhode Island. I'm, you guys honor me with your presence, so thank you for that and for the excitement for every new book. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, you have given me a career that is a dream come true, and so I really appreciate it so much. And then uh, I signed some books and we sent everybody home, um, having had a great time catching up with uh, old friends and new friends and uh, seeing each other for the second time this year in some cases because we were also in Miami in April. We are doing uh, Reader Weekend in Rhode Island next July, uh, the weekend of July 19th, and then we are taking 2025 off from Reader Weekend. So if you would like to come to the weekend, please make sure you register soon for Rhode Island. Um, thanks again to everybody who came. We had a blast, and we hope you did too.